Today's K movie, we have one fine spring day. 봄날은 간다. Actually, the literal translation is supposed to be one fine spring day has gone. It is directed by h o j i n o who directed Christmas in August. 8월의 Christmas. And the film is one of the most beloved romantic films of Korea. Like Christmas in August, h o j i n o is such uh, h o j i n o s directing is that excessive dialogue is unnecessary. We know what the two people involved are thinking at all times through their eyes, the way they look or don't look at each other. It depicts a portrait of a love affair from its blossoming in spring to its decline as the year passes. One Fine Spring Day is h o j i n o s second feature film. Surprisingly, though, the film feels like it has been crafted by a master director who's been making films for decades. One Fine Spring Day evokes a certain sense of maturity and control that deflects the low points of its spare plot. s a n g u performed by Yu Ji-tae, is a sound engineer who lives with his father and his senile grandmother. He gets a job to record certain sounds of nature with beautiful radio DJ, u n s u played by Lee Young-hae. s a n g u who is a quiet, introverted man, And u n s u who's more outgoing and open-minded, get along very well and start a relationship from the very first sight. Their relationship, however, is not the type that would last forever, as both characters are very different and both have issues that need to be resolved. Those seeking something that would provide for fuzzy, joyous romantic feeling would easily get disappointed with this one, but... 봄날은 간다, One Fine Spring Day, despite its rather light tone, holds a bittersweet conclusion that feels all too real for comfort. It matches the joys of falling in love with the pangs of an unexplained breakup. The beauty of this film doesn't emanate from the plot or the characterizations or even the technical merits, but from h a j i n o s sure-handed direction that never seems to stray from its melancholic tone. He doesn't waste time in dealing with heartwarming moments or scenes of melodramatic intensity. It is a lovely film. I love the fact that he doesn't really go for serious drama or comedy. This film gave a birth to this famous phrase, ramen 먹고 갈래요, do you want to get some ramen, which implies if you want to stay with me tonight, And uh, Eunsoo says this line in the movie to s a n g o and this quote is often recited as a pickup line. Later, s a n g o experiences love pains. After he breaks up with Eunsoo, he eats ramen by himself on a rainy night to relieve the sadness. At the time, his father leaves him a bottle of soju without a word. Later on, h o j i n o directed April Snow, a.k.a. w e t u l and happiness, 행복, to complete uh, so-called, I mean, some ramen mania, I would call it, ramen trilogy. s o y o u n g played by Son Ye-jin, relieves a hangover with cup noodle in April Snow, and y o u n g s u played by Hwang Jung-min, hides and eats ramen at a sanatorium in happiness. Music. News. Information. Everything about Korea. Arirang, Arirang. Radio. Lee Young-hae was already a superstar when she starred in this film, but Yoo Ji-tae was not so much. He was about to take off, though, and after this film, he became largely known for his role, s a n g w o And let me tell you a little bit about Yoo Ji-tae. After a stint as a fashion model, he launched his acting career in 1998. Then he rose to fame through the films, including j u s o s k y o k s a k o n Attack the Gas Station. In the succeeding years, he gained acting recognition by working with acclaimed directors such as h o j i n o in One Fine Spring Day and Park Chan-wook's Old Boy and Hong Sang-soo's Woman is the Future of Man. He also appeared in successful firefighting film, l i b e r a m e In this early part of his career, he was known for the wild colors that he would dye his hair with. For instance, white 
in Attack the Gas Station. He was blue in Ditto and blonde in Liberame. In 2001, he came back to his uh, black hair and took on a more subdued, serious role in Hojino's One Fine Spring Day. Although it wasn't a big hit with audiences, his performance in this film truly opened many critics' eyes and drew widespread praise. He then appeared in the horror suspense film Into the Mirror and Park Chanuk's Old Boy. Yujite's memorable role in the latter film in Old Boy as a wealthy eccentric fixated on revenge would make his face well known to international audiences. As Yujite's career established itself, he began to appear in many high-fire projects, such as in well-known art house director Hong Sang-soo's uh, 여자는 남자의 미래다, Woman is the Future of Men. As soon as he finished shooting the 2007 period film Hwang jin about a Joseon-era Giseng, Yu chose to act in the play Come to the Ghost House. Afterwards, he played another villain in the real-life sequence thriller Midnight FM. He co-starred with Koichi Sato and Vincent Gallo in Junji Sakamoto's 2013 suspense thriller Human Trust. And then he starred in bowling themes from Split, which I loved. And he returned to television in South Korean remake of The Good Wife. In 2017, he starred in the Danish film The House That Jack Built by Ras von Trier. Actually, Yujite only ap- appeared in like two minutes, three minutes. It's very briefly, so you have to focus on that. I hope I convinced you enough to watch this film, Pom Ganda. I personally think this is the best work produced by Hojino. <laughs> 